Hey, welcome back to part three of what to do in the winter when you're short on time, when you're short on space, when it's cold outside, you don't want to be outside very long, okay? So the past couple weeks, you know, we did some backing exercises, we did some finding the pocket, we did some rain to brain to foot exercises. What I'm going to talk about this time is how to halter your horse well. And I went in the sequence for a reason, and you're going to see why here in a minute. A lot of times when we're teaching our horses to halter well, we go straight to haltering, okay? And that can be a mistake because you can end up just making things worse. You can end up getting a fight with your horse. You can end up getting your toes stepped on, all right? So we don't want to be reaching for the rafters to, to put halters on these horses. So if you think about this, as I go through this, you're going to say, oh, that's why we backed our horses up first. That's why we found that pocket second. That's why we're doing this third. Okay, so what I want to be able to do is be able to get my hands all over these sensitive spots of the horse, of her face, her eyelids, her ears, her pole, her whiskers, those are really sensitive, her whiskers underneath her chin, okay? Make sure she's okay with us being up in here, which you guys should have done the past couple weeks, all right? And then can we start to create that pocket, okay? That pocket we talked about last week where we have nose in, shoulder and neck out, hip in, okay? So I'm gonna see if I can take this side apply my leg where it would hang and see if I can get her nose to come down and in. And what I want ideally is for her weight to be slightly to the outside. So if something were to scare her, she could spook around me as opposed to if her weight were on that, were on that inside, she'd spook over the top of me. Okay. So okay, let's try that again. Can I get the nose in? Apply my leg. I'll use my hand this time. Apply my leg. See if I can get the nose in, the shoulder to rock out. All right. And you'll notice too, when you start to get that lateral flexion, there she goes, you're gonna notice their heads are gonna wanna start stretching down, okay? As you start to supple your horse up on each side, they're gonna start stretching their heads down for you. And it doesn't have to be a big wrestling match to get their head down. Oops. Oh, pick that up. It's hard doing anything with all these layers on. Okay, so I'm gonna try the same thing over here. Nose towards me. I'm going to put my leg on as it would hang if I were sitting in the saddle to get that lateral flex. Shift her weight to the outside just a hair. Maybe too much. If she's going to move there, that's okay. I'm just going to support her here. We're going to do a little back and forth because the past couple weeks we did some backing up, right? So we have that back and forth that we've already taught. I'll put her back in her tracks here that we can use. To, to support her, okay? So I'm gonna come back here. Now I'm gonna make sure to really rub that spot where my leg hangs. I'm really gonna rub that spot there. To make sure she's not just automatically assuming I want her to move off of that. Okay, then I'm gonna push a nice solid feel into her side with the back of my hand so it's nice and open, it's not like a spur. And when I feel her weight shift and her head come to me, I'm gonna release, okay? Feel the weight shift, her head, there, I like that. Head come to me, feel the weight shift, release. Good, that's what I want. That's what I want, we'll come back to this side. All right, again, I hope you guys are seeing now by going through the sequence of what you did the past two weeks, it's gonna be a lot easier doing this now. Okay, let's come back over to this side. Okay, can I get my hands up and over her this time? And this time, if I can put my, my hip into it like this, bring her in, see if I can shift her weight to the outside a little bit and bring her head down and in, okay? Next thing, can we teach her to hold this? All right, now, this, I'm really big on this, is not doing things for the horse. I wanna teach them and then give them the responsibility. So what I'm gonna do when I'm in this position, when I'm in this position, I want my horses for bridling, for haltering, to stay in that position. I'm not gonna hold her with the rope, I'm not gonna hold her with my hands. And she knows that I'm in the right spot, and she knows that she's in the right spot when I leave her alone, all right? I want her to stay here, leave her alone. Rub. Stay here, leave her alone, rub. Good, and then back off. Now she can have her freedom there, okay? Just wanna point a couple things out. When you're doing this stuff, again, think, we got that nose in, shoulder out, hip in. Okay, that's the shape of your turns, that's the shape of your, um, your leads, your lead changes, your lead departures. All that stuff you're gonna to wanna to shape up one day Nose in, shoulder out, hip in. That pocket that you need on both sides. All right, so if we're thoughtful about what we're doing on the start, the, the training process, it can be a lot more simple on you. It can be a lot more simple on the horse. 
because it all makes sense. It's what we do from start to finish. Okay. I hope that was helpful. I appreciate you guys checking in and we'll see you next week. This week's quick tip goes out to Cindy Brigman and Abigail Vanderlinden. Last week, you guys asked me a question. What do you do when you touch the rein and your horse falls in on the circle instead of flexing and staying out on the circle, okay? And this is for horses that, you know, just have a few rides on them. That was what the question pertained to, but it'll work for all your, for all your horses as well. But first, can you flex your horse left and right? Separate their head and their neck from their shoulders, okay? And then the next piece, the next piece of that is, can you flex your horse to one side and without letting go, sit up tall and see if you can not only ride them in a little circle, but most of your horses are probably gonna pivot on that inside front. I'll see if I can make her do it here. They're probably gonna try to pivot on that inside front and you don't want that, okay? Not too early in the stage. You wanna actually get them crossing over in the front. And when they start crossing over like that, then set the rein down and release them out on a bigger arc or a bigger circle. And this is a great place to start for your green horses. And then try that on the other side. So I'll take her to the left here. Get a little bend. I'll take her head around, sit up tall. See if I can get her to cross over in the front. Release her out on that bigger arc, okay? So I hope that's helpful to you guys. And I appreciate you checking in and I will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.